Hello all. I did promise at one point in time that I would give a house tour of my house. A tour. Now that I've got it kind of set up the way that I want it, I figured now would be as good a time as any to take you guys around my house, show you all the different places, point out a little few things, and generally make it a jolly little good time all the way around. The reason I'm not wearing makeup is because I'm just about to go dye my hair. I'm going to re-dye the, the, the red and the black, so apologies for looking nasty, but I'm not the main focus of this video, so I figured it would be okay. You guys are going to be seeing all the aspects of my living quarters. All right. This is my front door. It's quite majestic in all of its glory with its three little windows and whatnot. And as we walk in the front door, we see the living room. Section by section, I will start here. This is the little cat's tower. They've got some toys down there. They love to scratch. Watson lays up here quite frequently, actually. This is the whatever something shelf. Uh, I got some camera bags down here. Here's my printer. Marshall Blackburn, my old hard drive. If you watch my vlogs, here's my uh, camcorder that I use. This is a picture frame here. This is nice. A uh, couple of just random things. Catch all basket of random crap. Got some Marilyn Monroe stuff up there. This is the chair. The almighty vlogging chair. This is where I always sat and did all my videos. It's got this weird little Christmas blankie on it right now because it makes it more comfortable and it's nice. I like it. Don't judge my Christmas blankie. Couch, obviously. There's my phone. Anyway, oh, here. My phone. Actually, birthday stickers. Check that out. Thank you, Lizzie and Ray, for the stickers that are now adorn the back of my phone. So this is the couch covered in cat fur because the cats like to lounge there. Here's rock band stuff. The guitar fell over because it's a piece of crap. Here's my mouse slippers that Steve got for me if you watch my vlogs. Here's TV show DVDs and these are my movie DVDs. The TV shows actually start down there on the right. And um, here's a little mouse in a cup because who doesn't love a mouse in a cup? I know I do. That's why I have it. It's a picture of me and my father. This is my television. It's a smart TV. It's the dumbest TV I've ever owned, so I find the term smart TV to be quite ironic indeed. Over here we have my piano. This is not a good piano. The, the, the keys down here are quite dead. If you can hear that, it's pretty gross. So that's why I haven't done another piano vlog or video yet, because this thing is a piece of crap. But I like the decorations. This piece of art right here actually I found in Toronto on the side of the street across from Millie's house. Uh, some guy was just like, you know, how people set stuff out that they don't want anymore, and he set that out, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna take it. So it's it's pretty cool, I like it. So, uh, oh, and we have this bear that Mariah made for me and gave to me on our road trip to Florida, if you recall. Again, watch my vlogs. And then over here is kind of the cat's corner. This is like where they play. So it's just assortment of toys, a plastic bag, a cushion that they like to claw at, where they like to sit to look out the window, boxes, a little, cushy futon mattress thing, basically all their toys. So this is kind of like the junk area, the cat's corner junk area thing. And over here we actually have, I have a United States of America map where I've put pins in. The blue pins are where I've lived and the red pins of places that I've actually visited. Not just like passed through, but like actually stopped, visited. So I've been to a few places, but lived there so pretty soon I'm gonna be putting a pin all the way up in Canada which I can't really I don't see I see Niagara Falls <laughs> but um, anyway and then we will move through here this is a neat little thing here I really like it I found it at a antique store and then we have the portrait that Millie did for me for last year for my birthday and here's the kitchen we got Marilyn Monroe here Here's my stove. This is obviously where I do most of my work because it's tainted with dye. This here is Igor. He's my friend. Cooking books back there. Here's some products that I have to mail out that are finished. I just finished those lately, so I have to ship those out. Quite a few body sprays. So if you're interested in those, by the way, links in the description to my store. This is my purse, obviously. As far as cupboard-wise, this is my baking crap is like other crap. This is a mostly tea shelf. I, I like my tea, gotta say. This cupboard with the little bell on it, 
This is some product making products, supplies. This is where the cats eat. Cute little kitty rug. There it is. Toaster coffee maker, can't live without it. This is my lip gloss making area and catch-all cupboard. This is where the cat food and cat stuff is. Out here is sort of the mudroom area where I'm storing all the boxes my mom unloaded on me out of her house, so I have to figure out what to do. I'm trying to downsize them as quickly as I can. This is all fan mail here, like... Mostly fan mail from back in the day. This gun cabinet here, my dad actually made this. He made this in high school, and I got it. So I have my dad's gun cabinet. It's quite cool, actually. And then over here we have my collection, if you can see, of my coffee mugs that I have. I quite like all of these. This is more of a soup bowl mug, but still, I like it. So I'm apparently collecting some pretty cool coffee mugs. It's just like my thing. Here's my fridge. Got a lot of Scrabble letters, the photos from me, Derek, Tony, and John in Florida. Got me, Millie, and Sarah in Toronto here. Got a thing for Moe's Southwest Grill for whatever reason. Random other stuff. Oh, this is my candle wax that I use for making stuff. This is a little kitten calendar. And here's my basement door. All right, so basement. I'm just gonna make sure the cats don't follow me. <clears throat> Alright. Shut the door. Okay, this is the basement. Like I said, I don't ever come down here. But here it is. Not a big fan of ooh, 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 I'm walking through stuff. Okay, okay, here's the basement. Alright, we're done. Okay, there. You saw it. Nothing to see. Ooh. Hi, Houdini. <laughs> and now, onward into the dining room. This is my dining room area. This is sort of the shelving area where I keep my product bottles and lids and stuff. Oh, random autograph photo of Don Knotts. No dining room is complete without an autograph photo of Don Knotts, just my personal opinion, but. This is some Living Dead dolls up here and some decorative items. Pine cone that my mom and I got at St. Catherine's whenever we went, which you saw if you watched the vlogs. This is my candle making cupboard, if you will. Uh, lots of candle supplies up here. This is mostly pillow stuff and labels down here and then shipping things on the bottom. It's sort of semi-organized. I know where everything is, of course. Here's some books. I like me some books. These aren't all of them, of course, but there are a lot of them. And up here we have some Jack Skellington memorabilia that's just sort of randomly dispersed there. Up here we have some photos, me and my dad, and wine bottles back there as mom on her wedding day. Me as a little, little teeny creature playing on the piano. And there's my dad when he was in high school. There's me and my dad. I think that's cute. And then this is just sort of a catch-all shelf here of random crap. This is a lot of fan mail down here that is more recent. And here's some board games, whatnot. This is my cross-stitching crate. CDs. Yeah, just kind of whatever would go in there is, is in there. And then, of course, we have my bay window here, which I love so, so much. Got a few pillows. The cats like to hang out here a lot. This is my table, obviously. This blanket, actually, I just made for Mike and myself. Um, for when we go watch the fireworks this weekend. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what that is. And uh, over here, here's uh, my tripod with my camera on it because I use that camera to photograph my products, actually. Roll top desk, and here's some products that are waiting to be shipped out as well. This roll top desk, my father's father actually made it. So my paternal grandfather made this. I never met him, but... He was a carpenter extraordinaire, just like my dad, so he made this roll-top desk by hand. It's quite heavy. It's quite cool, quite valuable. I really like it, and it is not going anywhere. It's going to stay in the family, as long as I have anything to say about it. So here we have some more little things and stuff. There's Marilyn Monroe again. I like Marilyn Monroe. I'm sorry. My clock, of course. That was my first contest-winning fan art thing from back in the day, Ambassador Bennett. She made me that, and of course, that is the same clock face that is here. 
So that's pretty cool. Here we have an autographed photo of a munchkin. The munchkin that autographed it is right there. And um, I doubt she's still living at this point. I don't think any of the munchkins are still alive anymore from the Wizard of Oz, but there they are. These are my shipping boxes and more shipping items that I use for my business thing for selling of the stuff. Really like this room and so does Watson. She likes to sit here and look out the window. Don't you, sweetie? Say hi. <laughs> That's my Watson. Moving on to the upstairs portion of the home. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, here's my Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award from when I was in high school. 2002. Yeah, I'm old. So we're going to go upstairs now. This is my green screen. Well, my blue screen. But yeah, that's what I use for my blue screen if I use it. This is just kind of a spare bedroom. No one occupies it, obviously. It's just here. So it has served several purposes over the course of time that I've been here. But yeah, it's been mostly unoccupied. I just leave the door open so the cats can run in and play or whatever. Uh, across from that is the bathroom. Hi. This is my sink. It's quite quite exciting. I mean, as far as sinks go, I actually really like this mirror. It came with the house, so I'm happy about that. Um, here's some stuff. Here's some more stuff. The elusive hanging bras and their natural habitat. Yeah, I just washed my bras, so there they are. Hanging to dry. I was trying to, sort of going for like a, an oriental garden theme in this room. Not sure how well I'm pu pulling it off. This is meant to be up and displayed. I actually cross-stitched this myself a long time ago, um, but it is like falling and I can't get it to stay up, which is kind of irritating, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. I cross-stitched that myself in high school. Yeah, I'm talented. All right, bathroom. Yeah. This here is the kitty's room. We've got two litter boxes and some food and they like their laundry baskets because that's what they play in and there they are. So we won't spend, we won't dawdle too much in there. This is my bedroom here. Turn the light on so y'all can see it. This is my closet. Uh, I can't reach the pole chain very well. So let me see if I can. Ah, ah, that's hard. Okay, ooh, excuse me. Um, my backpack is under here, by the way. It's not like a body or whatever. This is just a silky thing that Millie's mom gave me when I went to visit. But yeah, this is my closet. Just some basic crap. You know, clothing. Pretty much what closets are for. So, yeah, this is my room. This is my room. I have a fan because it gets quite hot in here because as you'll notice, it's the only room without a ceiling fan. Even the cats have a ceiling fan. I don't. This so is my desk. This is where I do work and stuff. Some more books. These are the more popular books with me. That's why they're up here in my room so that they're easily accessible. Some more Marilyn Monroe, of course. Uh, this is my dresser. Um, I really like this dresser. It's quite cool. So yeah, I've definitely got clothes in it. So there's more clothes than what's just in the closet. This is my Maleficent collection of stuff. I don't have a whole lot of things, but uh, I have a few things. So. They're cool. And then this lamp I actually found at that same antique place where I got that picture that I showed you downstairs. And here's two books I'm currently working, working through at the moment. This is my bed, obviously. Oh, there's the painting that Millie gave me for my birthday. Yes, I have pink bed sheets. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. I like pink. This blanket, this music note blanket I actually made. It's just like the one downstairs. It's like the tie one. It's fleece. So I made this for myself and I really like it. It's quite comfortable. I don't need anything else. I don't like sheets. I don't like big comforters. Plus, it's been warm. I mean, it is July now, so I haven't needed anything more than this, and I'm very happy with it. I really like it. So, we have Monster High poster over here. Don't judge me. TV. Obviously, there's some fan mail down there. Those are the birthday presents from my birthday gifts video. I just haven't taken them back downstairs. Here's a mirror. You can see my lower half. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, so that's my room. I like it. It's cozy. And here we are, if I can even manage to get up here. I tried to open this door earlier. I didn't work the best. Okay, there we go. I got it. This is the attic. Whew. I gotta be careful with this because the cats might run up here after me. I have only been up here a couple of times, but
but it's quite cool actually. Oh, oh, it's actually hot. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's hot as hell up here. Oh, Lord in heaven. Oh, and there's a wasp nest up there. Maybe we shouldn't come up here. This is my attic. I find it quite spooky. It's, it's neat. I don't know. I like, it's like they started to build it and started to finish it and then just like stopped. And no one knows why. No one knows why. But yeah, it's, it's cool anyway. I mean, I like it up here, but yeah, it's, oh God, it's extremely hot up here. It's actually like ridiculously, swelteringly, painfully hot. And I gotta, I gotta leave. Oh, it's actually hard to catch my breath. It's quite, it's stagnant too. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the attic because it's, it is a cool space. I really like it. Oh Lord. Oh God, these narrow ass little steps. Oh, it's scary. Ooh, the temperature difference is just ridiculous. It just hit me all at once there. Okay, I'm done with the attic. All right. And by the way, this is a Houdini. Hi, Houdini. <laughs> She's our resident fat docile cat. And I'm not being mean. She has gotten quite fat and she is quite docile. Watson's a little troublemaker. <laughs> Watson's like, what the hell are you doing? I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my house. It's not that exciting. It's just where I live. It's my humble abode, which I will be leaving here in a few months. So that's another reason I wanted to get this on video is because I won't be here after a few months, but we'll save that announcement for a later date. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye now.